So it's really getting out of hands. I mean literally getting out of hands. I got a bunch of clips that I want to show you guys in this video. But what if I tell you that videos are being taken down right now? Obviously, you can pause this video and read as to what happened because I surely cannot read the story. Uh, because Byre recently did something, right? And a lot of people were furious. And then YouTube apparently took down the video though. Oh, so uh, of this creator. So he comes out and shares this uh, thing on Twitter. So yeah, man, it's really getting deep right now. Like the video if you think there are two genders dislike the video if you think there are more than 10 genders let's see what people think but wait for the plot twist guys wait for the climax this is happening in gaming right now roll it sweet baby ink is the last jedi all over again and for many different reasons we are learning that is that sweet baby ink is a consultancy firm and uh, they offer the services that their website says that they offer that's what they do and some companies will take up those services, be they pedestrian narrative design, yeah. be it sensitivity reading or that sort of... So, for small context, those of you that do not know, apparently Bellator News runs a gaming channel and he made his video, right, and he danced around the topic of Sweet Baby Inc. He started blaming everybody but Sweet Baby Inc. and Kotaku. So, a lot of their fans kind of jumped on and a lot of their fans now calling out Bellator News. That's like the small context, but uh, we also have... Oh no, it's Alex. He's also gonna jump in as well and basically just wait for it, I guess. The thing. Yeah. Ow, and we're ow. learning that from this perspective on content creators on YouTube because there are a lot of content creators that you have been watching for a long time and you've enjoyed their content, but when it comes to something controversial, they will completely sidestep. They will do all of the research imaginable on other topics, but when it comes to quote unquote yeah. controversial topics, they suddenly have no information whatsoever. Yeah. Now I it's like they're like, uh, uh, I don't know what's going on. Uh, uh, I don't know what's going on. Uh, like, bruh, you're a YouTuber. You're a news channel. You're a gaming news channel. Deliver the news. Tell people what's going on. Simple as that. But obviously, Bellator... And, and listen, I don't want to dog on the guy. Uh, I don't necessarily watch all of their videos because the type of news they do, for the games especially, I'm not like super into World of Warcraft and games like that. Some of you might be, and that's fine. Uh, but I do. I, I know about the guy. I sometimes, you know, check out the videos. And the videos are genuinely very, very decent. They're very, very good, right? But this time, <laughs> they made this video dance around the topic and then he made like a following video by claiming the elephant in the room or discussing the elephant in the room and the elephant in the room is Kotaku, Sweet Baby Inc and all that woke agenda that they're pushing down gamers throats and all the games out there right but doesn't talk about any of that nothing none of that and now people are furious and a lot of people are calling him out and, and obviously by where they recently did something crazy which we covered as well but obviously cannot go in it's super detail uh they apparently did uh, uh this uh, and this and uh, this and that and then videos getting taken down and it's like it's it's wild it truly is wild right now wait for the plot twist and wait for the climax i guess but. covered bellular and the massive shitstorm that they stepped into yesterday with the kotaku coverage and sidestepping the sweet baby ink story they got yeah. massively ratioed we talked about this over on twitter grums was involved with it other people were chiming in and they came out with another video yeah, yeah. today titled okay when you said they <laughs> pump the brakes though how many people are we talking though hey be talking like two people three people how many people were talking uh the elephant in the room beyond that i i might not completely understand i think this is the right understanding is that the sort of the primary anti uh, spi position is essentially down to the ceo types are wanting to get a consultancy firm like them so that they can essentially rubber stamp their game to you know sort of be in the good boys club uh, sort of financially, and I suppose that's where the whole ESG thing comes into it. Yes, yes. And I'm like, okay, yeah. here we strong, go. This is strong, empowering. <laughs> e -e. By the way, like, I'm a brown man. I legit legitimately am a brown man. I'm just saying, like, as a big ass, strong ass, beautiful ass man whose uh, pronouns are they, them, I'm no longer schizzle. I'm Skizzle Axie, okay? Skizzle Axie, my pronouns are they, them. So, uh, yeah, uh, YouTube, please don't. Uh, yeah, I'm just going covering to be the news. a good though. response. They're going to actually listen to the feedback because, as I said yesterday, why don't you just go ahead and call your audience racist and sexist? And this was based off of their response to Mark Kern Grums and si simply just dismissing 
his concerns and the valid criticisms that he had. And so I responded with a picture of Frost saying, just call your audience racist and sexist. Let's get it over with. Well, that didn't necessarily happen today, but their oh, audience, man. once again, not very happy with the It's resp- like, dude, every time, like, a conspiracy happens with, like, Blizzard, Kotaku, or, like, any of that, they're just, they just turn around, call gamers homophobic, they start playing that phobic, phobic game, and in terms of, like, Activision Blizzard, whenever a controversy happens, suddenly their character turns out to be gay. I mean, go figure, like, you know, whenever they're in a, and this is, I'm not even trying to be funny. This, this literally what happens. They start calling gamers phobic, they, uh, they are after white people as well, they hate white people apparently. Uh, they, they are calling gamers, the toxic gamers, and all that. Uh, gamers are being labeled like crazy. We recently had a BBC reporter, guys, I'm, come on now, I'm not talking about like this BBC bundle. Uh, that's like a very innocent BBC bundle that we had in Call of Duty. Bruh. But like, an actual BBC reporter came out and she said that we need to purge gamers. That happened not long ago, so gamers literally they hate the gamers. Gamers are getting squashed left and right, bruh. Spots. And if you actually watch this 29 minute video, and yes, it's a 29 minute video of him saying absolutely nothing. He says nothing. He dances around all of it. So that's the sort of thing where, hey, if anyone works at a company and wants to blow a whistle about that, yeah, like it's the sort of thing. What you'd need is good investigative reporting. It, honestly, like the ambient. What? Good investigating report? My guy, you didn't even investigate though! I was gonna say, like, the, the music that he has in background is actually, like, very, very soothing, right? Like, it makes me feel like that I'm, like, on top of the world right now. Like, I can. You, you feel what I'm saying? Like, the, the music in the background, kind of, kind of soothing though. You know, you like need that. good journalism to go on and to shine a light because I think in the absence of clear as day irrefutable facts well it's pretty easy just to be yeah. a kind of messy situation once yeah. again showing that he is not willing to actually talk oh. about what's going on and the worst part of the video oh, and there's man. many of it but the worst part of the video Uh-oh. in my opinion was when he talked about the sweet baby ink stuff and Uh-oh. how he basically just said they're just a consulting group that's all they are he talked about everything that happened with the group from Cabruda. Yeah, and, and I gotta show you, like, the homie uh, Alex response to this with the sweet baby ink detected, but he didn't even talk about that. He didn't even go into detail with that. He completely, yeah. completely mis interpreted everything he there was misinformation nah, he did not misinterpret let's be real he's a gaming news channel he does that on a daily basis on multiple different accounts he purposely intentionally didn't want to cover that and, and yeah it'd be what it'd be bro that's basically what it, what it comes down to and before we dive into this one guys i also want to say i have a second channel this is where i upload ufo content conspiracy content every single day if you're into that definitely subscribe and if you want to help support the channel definitely become a member by clicking the join button all right let's get back to the content here boo boo in there he actively stayed away from key points i mean specifically on the sweet baby ink detected situation yeah. He said that Steam was just staying out of it. That is not correct. Steam actually responded to what the Sweet Baby Inc. employees oh, were shit. trying to do For to real? the group. Uh, it's with great pride that I say this based Valve. Thank you, Valve Software, for respecting your players' freedom of choice. Yeah. And also, thank you, Lord, Lord Gabe, Gabe, for <laughs> building such an amazing platform for us. We are here to stay. Okay. And then some of the screenshots were at like 99,000 members. Today, Cabrutus and his group, Sweet Baby Holy Inc. Detected, crap. hit over three. Yeah, okay, this part I did not know. 350,000 members. And you're showing screenshots of when they had 99,000 members. It, it's absolutely insane the way that this whole thing w- is a, approached. But this is the line. If you're going to cover these topics, then don't dance around it. Sweet Baby Inc. is not a consulting group. Sweet it is Baby not. Inc. Is, is here not. to destroy video games. Sweet Baby Inc. doesn't like you if you are a gamer. They hate gamers and they hate video games. And these are like, again, important services that I literally like list on every PDF that I see. And this is back from 2019. Do we have like a, n- a newer version as well? 
bend out to be like, or not. hey, I can do risk assessment and sensitivity reading. And they are one of many. Damn. So do not sit there and pretend that they are anything other than, than that, what they yeah. are. They are a yeah. disease. They are a... They are there to inject woke politics and all that. They really don't care about video games. They don't care about good stories. They don't care about good progressive, diverse characters. They really... Because gamers don't have a problem with diversity. Gamers have a problem when you're forcing diversity and forcing the woke crap down people's throats. That's what gamers have a problem with. Gamers have a problem with microtransactions. Nowadays, it's like, you gotta worry about like the woke BS, the politics, microtransactions, no single player games. And in terms of like Call of Duty, the single player games are also becoming trash. Recently, Modern Warfare 3, uh, single player was infested with like Warzone bull crap and multiplayer was all about friendly and it's getting like all those bundles and all that crap right gamers had enough and then it's like gamers ask hey can a brother get like some actual and decent content can a brother get like a bug free game day one and it, it, it simply put you ask these understandable fair fair questions i mean these are fair questions can a brother get it like because i'm paying 70 dollars like usd plus taxes right so can a brother get a decent game at launch? These are fair questions, but then they turn around and they gaslight you and they're like, no, bro, you're a toxic gamer. How dare you ask for that? Like, bro, we didn't even have problems like that before, bruh absolute disease in the video game world and they need to be treated as such and when you're going to sit there and just dance around these topics and pretend that there's something else you even talked about the sweet baby ink employees and you danced around that yeah. I, this is absolutely insane to me we feed them the same thing that we know that they love and we keep on feeding it we're like here you go we, you love it eat this eat this eat this so that the, 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 the fact that they actually put i don't want any damn vegetables uh, vegetables are good for you but the fact that they are trying to make a point that sweet baby ink is like vegetables it's like the broccoli get the hell out of that you miss me with that crap bro like come on man y'all suckers ain't no vegetables y'all are the, the the mcdonald's even worse than mcdonald's bro like come on bro but then when they get anything else they react as a picky baby would which is be like oh no thank you i do not want this and we've actually done this so long that what we're doing is creating an entire nation of picky babies and they make us scared to deviate from what we actually want to do just in case these picky babies don't want to play our games these people are evil the people involved with sweet baby ink are evil they, they do are, not yeah. deserve your respect they do not Absolutely. deserve to for you to dance around this issue gamers your audience your subscribers they deserve the truth. And I think then the other side of it is it's been picked up and the whole sort of culture war side of things that has expanded far, far beyond video games. And uh, that just kind of means there's fuel everywhere. It's a highly, highly flammable situation. And again, they are getting <laughs> ratioed on this channel once again oh, for this man, disastrous no. take. And gamers... Oh, man, come on, Bellular. Just talk about it, dog. You run a gaming news channel, bro. Like, talk about the actual crap that's going down in gaming, bruh. Why are you so scared? Have a spine, bro. Like, it ain't... The I mean, it's that it's deep, actually. I was gonna say it ain't that deep, but it, it this time it actually is deep, and this is probably why he's not talking about it. Yeah, I, I mean, you cannot force YouTubers and anybody to talk about it. Um, yeah, it, it's whatever, but right now a lot of people are calling out Bellular, and this is another like drama happening in gaming, so this is why I'm covering it. But I do uh, uh, agree with the fact that, like, hey, you cannot force people to talk about it because if you force right now, uh, uh force Bellular to talk about it. He simply is gonna make another video, he's gonna dance around the topic, and then people that actually like his content are gonna start to hate him even more. And I think he realized that, so I don't think he's a, he's gonna make another video on it. I think that's it. He's not gonna jump in. Or maybe he's gonna, and what if he actually tries to do the right thing? I hope he does. And if he does, then yeah, sure, but I don't, looks like that he's not gonna. He's just gonna wait till everybody forgets about it, because there are quite a lot of channels right now that are actively trying to not talk about it. I always see the, the, the comments. I don't want to, like, bring those names up. You know who they are. I, I was, like, looking at the video comments, and, yeah, the, the people are commenting. Okay, so this YouTuber, that YouTuber is not talking about it. Here's uh, how I see it. You cannot force people to talk about it, though, right, guys? Like, but but I understand where people are coming from, because the, the point here is that if you do not pick a side, 
you are picking a side. I do agree with that part. So the, the the YouTubers that are not talking about this crap, you you know their side. You you know that they already have picked a side, so they're not gonna talk about it. And what are you gonna do about it? Like it's it, it'd be what it'd be, is what I'm saying. You are fed up with this stuff. This is the Last Jedi again. You are going to see so many channels that you have been watching for so long completely lose your trust because they are not yeah. willing to talk about what's actually yeah. going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about it. And quit. I would say Asmund Gold is one of the biggest channels that actually covered this. Other than that, I don't know any big channel on his caliber covering this. Yeah, uh, I'm a small channel, make no mistake. Like, uh, Geeks and Gamers, a bigger channel than mine, absolutely. But, like, Asmund Gold, that's like the elite level of YouTube. The guy almost brings in 100 million viewers a month. That's insane, okay? that That's just crazy. Obviously, that's uh, only his one channel. He got other channels. He got Twitch as well. So, Asmund Gold definitely is like the elite lead of YouTube and he is the one uh, also talking about it and bringing attention to it because he genuinely cares about it he also cares about like the farming nothing wrong with that but more so than that he also is a gamer and he talks about it regardless whether you like the guy or not obviously you're not gonna agree with everything that he has to say you're not gonna agree with everything I have to say you know agreeing disagreeing that's part of life that's perfectly fine uh, but, but like he is one of the biggest channel that's covering and you know what he has my respect uh, about that for sure dancing around it. Sweet Baby Inc. and companies like them are a cancer to the video game industry in okay. every single way. Yeah. Just as Kotaku is, just like most games journalists are. I think some of the culture war stuff, I think it goes a bit too far. There's plenty of times I look at something in modern TV and I think it's cringe, I think it's try hard. It's the sort of thing where primarily what we want is good characters. And there's certainly times where, you know, certainly a TV show could give you the impression that they yeah. tried to tick a bunch of boxes or something yeah. like that. All of this <laughs> needs to be called out. It yeah. doesn't need to be treated with delicate gloves. It needs to be called out for what it is. And it's meant to destroy the gaming industry it as is, we know yeah. it. Yeah, they want to force their political ass agendas every uh, in every single video game that's out there. Except for, they cannot touch Stellar Blade. This is why they're mad with Stellar Blade, right? And I want to play you this portion from Oh No, It's Alex. Love the guy. And apparently he is bi. Uh, he actually said that in the video and I found it out. So it's like, when he says it, it has more caliber. You feel what I'm saying? So even like the the rational individual in the LGBT crowd, even they are having enough. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like more important when people from the LGBT crowd talks about it. Be because there are people with whom you can never reason. They're just so far gone that you can you will never be able to reason. But Alex and other people that are rational individuals in the LGBT community, check this. They are somewhat newsworthy. Surprise, you kind of did your job. It's what is expected of you. How do you sit there and even defend them on this? Oh boy, one guy broke an article about the PvE mode of Overwatch. <gasps> Who knew? Because everybody already <laughs> knew that that was going to be canceled and canned because they already delayed it one time and delayed it again and never came out with it and they keep putting out other characters and all blizzard actually does is whenever they do something bad they just make another overwatch character gay, gay right? or whatever yep. and that just makes it look <laughs> fucking stupid because that's how they do things now apparently and if you think i'm actually being like facetious or joking i'm not no, no, no. every single he, he dead ass on this one every time something happens it's like add pronouns recently we had a valorant crap right and with valorant it's like you can if you misgender they, they came out with their i believe clove is that the name you know with their new agent and their pronouns are they them uh, so basically they're saying that if you do not call the operator by they or them you can get banned like guys like this is absolutely insane and we're talking about uh, uh, from a standpoint okay logically speaking let's not even talk politics there right we're talking about valorant you're playing with your friends uh, and in valorant if you're like trying to capture a flag or, or you are you are on the objective let's just say a all your homies are there and you are the guy that's saying hey yo they pushing b your team is gonna panic all of your team is gonna be like, okay let's rush to the b flag and when they do they only see that club agent and they're gonna be like bro like did you lie to me you said they were pushing b and then you turn around you're like uh well i meant their pronoun right because it's they it's like confusion 101 how many people we're talking about right like one two three four five no we're just talking about one person here Bruh. because uh, their pronouns are they so it's like English language is kind of confusing right now, basically. Well, time Blizzard gets caught in a controversy, an Overwatch character becomes gay. Speaking as a bisexual man, that yeah. think of it like that. 
boy, I, I just what? Why? Why? Yeah. Why? Every yeah, exactly. And when he says it, there is more weight. There is more weight than like any of us uh, saying saying that, right? Love the guy absolutely, but guys, this is what recently happened. You gotta check this video out. You're not gonna believe it. Click on this video on the screen on the left. Look, that video is on my second channel, like I was talking about, like UFO content and conspiracy content, right? Check these videos out, and I'll see you right there.